Both first daughter Ivanka Trump and her now White House staffer husband, Jared Kushner, joined President Donald Trump on his first trip overseas as President of the United States of America this past weekend. After a brief visit to Saudi Arabia over this past weekend, they arrived in Tel Aviv, Israel where they were met by Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu and his wife Sarah. After some brief fanfare, they rapidly got on Marine One for the short trip to Jerusalem which is probably the next location for our embassy. And it's about damn time. First order of business for the First Lady Melania Trump and President Trump was to visit what is considered the holiest site in the Christian religion, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. After that, they quickly went sped off in the presidential motorcade to meet Ivanka and Jared at the Western Wall. When they arrived there both sexes were separated and each visited the area of the wall which the Jewish religion allows. Seems archaic, but it has been a tradition for over 5,000 years. But what was perhaps was the most striking part of this whole episode was how Ivanka Trump was able to look so stunning in a traditional Jewish Orthodox modest outfit. She wore a long sleeve top that covered her arms and shoulders. And a long flowing skirt that covered her knees as Orthodox Jewish law requires. She completed her outfit with black high-heeled shoes. You just can't get classier than this. But I'm sure the lamestream liberal media and the scumbag liberals will find a reason to criticize her because we all know that's all they can do. Meanwhile, they never said a word about the way any of the Obama family dressed. Especially First Lady Michelle Obama who used to get her dresses made at a potato sack factories, while the liberal left applauded and marveled at her lack of style and class. I guess they felt like she was one of them. Kvela reports, Ivanka Trump is a lot of things. She's a mom, business mogul, and fashion designer. And, of course, Donald Trump's daughter. Oftentimes, she's described by the media as poised and savvy, and said to have it all. However, the 34-year-old Jewish mom balked at the idea that someone can truly have it all, and a recent interview with Trump appears to straddle both worlds of mother and business mogul seamlessly, as if it's no effort at all. Currently, She's the executive vice president of development and acquisitions at the Trump Organization, and owner of Ivanka Trump Fine Jewelry and the Ivanka Trump Collection. Yet, her family life is visible in her midtown Manhattan office, in photos of her 2009 wedding to Jewish real estate developer Jared Kushner, and their two children, four-year-old Arabella and two-year-old Joseph. In the interview, she's honest about how being a working mom means she can't be present at all of her children's functions adding that it's impossible for anyone to have it all, I abhor this question of having it all. People talk about balance. Balance is an awful measure of things, because it implies a scale that inevitably tips. I like to look through the filter of is the life I'm leading consistent with my priorities. For me, my family is the ultimate litmus test. Do I feel I'm giving my children what they need? But I don't do everything. I wouldn't be able to do what I do professionally if I did. I don't go to the afternoon classes. I don't take my son to the sports playground in the middle of the day. For some people that's a compromise they aren't willing to make, and I respect that, everything you choose to do outside of being with them has an opportunity cost that's much more real than the choice of hanging out with your girlfriends after work. In September, Trump announced she was pregnant with her third child. One of the most striking parts of her interview is the fact that she feels women should be architecting the lives they want to live, as opposed to falling into roles they feel they should take. And, naturally, she wants to change the narrative, one of my goals is not to preach how to live a great life. I'm not saying that if you're working at home, raising a family, that's not work. I want to disrupt the narrative around what it means to be a woman who works. The whole point of my brand is that women should be architecting the lives they want to live. Of course, the interview would not be complete without mention of her famous father, to whom she is remarkably loyal. She speaks diplomatically, saying that she does sometimes disagree with her father, because as she explains, it would be a little strange if I didn't. But she also does stand by the fact that he 100% believes in equality of gender. Either way. It's hard not to be won over by her ability to navigate life as a working mother so successfully that it doesn't seem like work. Of course, let's not forget that being insanely wealthy, and having a famous dad whose connections enable you to get started in business, give her the privilege to straddle these worlds at all.
Ivanka Trump truly is the American dream. A successful wife, mother, and businesswoman. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.